Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I'm a coloured pencil and graphite pencil pet portrait and family portrait artist based in Worcestershire in the UK. I'm out of breath from <laughs> saying that. And today I thought I'd show you how I frame my work. So I don't usually frame my work when I send it off but since the piece I'm going to show you today was commissioned by my boyfriend I wanted to properly frame it for him and his parents and I thought I'd take you along with me and show you how I do it. So this is Freya, my boyfriend's German Shepherd, she's a sable German Shepherd so you'll notice there's quite a lot of silver and black tones in her fur rather than the bright oranges that we sometimes see with other German Shepherds. So because Freya is a large drawing, she's A3 size, I had to order a very big frame. Um, so here it is, it's huge, it just about fits on camera. So I will unpackage it and get to framing her. The first thing to talk about is where I get my frames from. So this giant frame here, the mount did come separately. I get my frames from the frame company on Amazon. There we go, there's all the details. Um, they're really good. They have a huge range of frames. What it does mean as well is when I have created a piece of work that I send off to a client, I can recommend a type of frame for them. If they don't know what type of frame to choose, I can choose one for them, send them the link and um, it works perfectly. Usually I go for a wooden frame. I just like the look of that, it's more aesthetically pleasing. You can kind of see on my tiger, drawing back there I've used a beached frame this is a dark oak frame and you kind of want to pick a frame color that complements the colors of the artwork I think this is a dark oak I'm gonna look really stupid if this isn't dark oak but I'm pretty sure it's a dark oak on Amazon next is what color mount should you use for your works I always try my best to match the color of the mount to the paper that I use the color of the paper is never truly white that you draw on it's never truly white it will always have a yellowy creamy tinge to it no matter how hard you try to find extra white paper my Fabriano paper is extra white but it's not true brilliant white so this clip here shows why mount color is so important this is her with a white mount and you can see just how yellow the paper looks and i hate this i really do especially as it changes how we're perceiving the colors of her fur because the white mount is a cold white it makes her look extra yellow and murky but now you can see the difference it makes to the artwork when i use a cream mount it's basically like magic is happening right before our very eyes she's so crisp and the colors are more vibrant and true to life and the warm cream mount offsets the yellow of the paper basically tricking us into thinking she's been drawn on brilliant white paper the one exception where i would recommend using a white mount is if there is none of this paper showing it's completely covered so you've done your drawing with a background otherwise see if you can match the mount color with your paper color or go for a cream ivory colored mount which is what i've done today so i think now that that's all out of the way I will get to showing you how I frame and mount my work. So firstly, you're gonna to wanna to clean your artwork. Now, I use a really big painting brush for this. I've never used it for painting. I only use it for cleaning my artwork, so I know it's clean, it's not dirty. You wanna do this to make sure there's no pencil dust or lint or anything like that on your artwork. I do always use a fixative beforehand, so there isn't usually much fallout of pencil shavings and dust, but I do like to make sure because I am a bit of a perfectionist. So once you've done that, you can now cut some mounting tape and you wanna make sure you're using acid-free mounting tape. The reason for this is because the chemicals in other adhesive tapes that aren't acid free, they can cause damage to the artwork. So they can become yellow, they can dry out, they can cause stickiness if it's not acid free and you don't want the artwork to be damaged. Now you can place on the mount and you make sure that everything is in line and secured, just positioned exactly how you want. Now some people place an entire strip of tape on the top of the paper mount it and then secure the other three sides but the way that I've just shown just works best for me and that's how I've always done it. Now you want to place this somewhere safe as we're going to clean the glass inside the frame and we do not want any glass cleaner getting on the artwork. <laughs>
with the glass cleaner you want to use a microfiber cloth now this works best because it doesn't leave any lint or fibers on the glass once you've finished wiping it down the last thing you want is to see some lint on the inside of the frame after finishing everything and then you've got to restart So now you can place the glass back into the frame and here I always do one last wipe down just to make sure that there is no little bits of pesky lint or dust and then I pop the mounted artwork in. So now you just put on the backing board, press those little metal tabs down and you're done. Freya measures 12 by 16 inches, so I've drawn her on A3 sized paper. She's mounted to 16 by 20 inches, so I always mount bigger because I never like the mount going into the paper because then you get a smaller drawing. And then the frame itself measures 18 and a half by 22 and a half inches. So this is a fairly big framed portrait. Here is Freya, all framed and ready to be sent off to my boyfriend's parents. Um, I really hope they like her. I love her. Um, I am quite sad to see her leave the studio, but I see her most weekends anyway in real life. So it's not like I'm never going to see her again and I will see this artwork all the time. Um, it is my favourite piece I've ever created and... Oh, I just love it so much. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, I did my best to try and explain stuff, but I'm not really good at words and stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe down below. I will list everything that I used, all the materials, everything um, in the description below. So you can check it out if you are also wanting to mount and frame your work make sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a video. <laughs> My dad just gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> My social media is at Elizabeth Rain Fine Art on absolutely everything. This is the handle here and I will also put everything in the description for you if you want to follow me along. I am open for commission as well so I'll leave my business email down there as well. You can always message me on social media if you're not into the whole email thing. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!